Hey guys, I was in my kitchen dinking around watching the new season of The Witcher. So, oh. mm. coffee. I am baking a couple of cakes right now because today is what, the 27th? The 28th. And I have a cake due on the 31st and a cake due on the 8th. So I'm gonna bake the cakes now and get them in the freezer so that I can bust them out and ice them when it is time in a couple of cupcakes. And then I got some stuff. If I make enough cupcakes, we'll see what my recipe does. I'll do like a practice run of what I'm going to do for Valentine's Day so I can take pictures. <laughs> Danger. But anyway, I was realizing that I did not sum up my like where I've been video that you're probably already watching in any fashion. So I just thought I would get on here real quick. Look, I finally got a haircut since October 16th it has been. So I figured I'd just get on here and kind of tell you what was up. My, look at this mess. Now that Christmas is over, I dropped the towel. Um, my dude got me a big giant island for Christmas and it's freaking awesome, it's on wheels. But it's changed the way um, everything in the kitchen is. And so now we're going to like repaint the whole house and everything because you know we have to rearrange the kitchen. Anyway, so I'm gonna bake this cake and talk to you a little bit, probably. Hold on, I gotta get some eggs. Yeah, so I took a little video that I may insert, but I gotta show you this. I'm pretty sure this is Yolandi's egg, the Blair chicken, ch chicken. Um, she laid this egg the day after Christmas and she laid this egg on Christmas. So what she's doing, I don't know, but I think that's the cutest thing ever and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So anyway, yeah. Um, so I've just been really busy. I have had all of these plans. <coughs> Ruger quit, please. We're talking to our friends. I've had all these plans, right? I wanted to do Vlogmas and vlog every day. Um, and of course that only lasted a week because that's kind of my typical goings on. But I don't ever intend to do that. Like I have the best of intentions. But I did launch a bakery right before th uh, Thanksgiving, yeah. So, um, had to put the milk away. So, um, that makes life kind of crazy. I gotta get my mixer out. And honestly, the only reason it really makes life that crazy is because I got a couple of orders over Thanksgiving. It was all pretty doable. I was super excited about it. But then for Christmas, I got so many orders, so many orders that thank God I've been having to work from home. Pause again. Sorry. Need some water. And yeah, I just turned the camera on like thinking, oh crap, I need to like talk to you guys. So I'm not prepared for anything, but yeah. So it's a, such a good thing I have to work from home because I, um, I would never have been able to pull this off otherwise because it has literally been type a little bit, answer an email, put something in the oven, um, you know, take a phone call, handle that, cut some cookies out, make some icing, blah, blah, blah. And I, I knew when I started this that my menu was big, but I wanted it to be big because it's Christmas time. And you know, like for Valentine's day, I'll just do like a treat box with like some cupcakes and I'll show you when I get to that, what I, my plan is. So anyway, but I had so, so, so many things, right? Um, so I had so much to do because I had so many extra orders or not extra orders, but so many orders I wasn't prepared for. And if I had had any kind of idea how that was going to go, I would have baked a ton of cookies ahead of time and stuff like that. But I, I didn't know and I'll know for the future, but you know, you got to start somewhere. So anyway, 350 is what we got to preheat the oven to. I'm working from home, turns out tomorrow, between tomorrow and the fourth, which is the first working day of the year, my boss is gonna expect me to go back to work, but she's gotta fix our internet issue first. She's out of the hospital, so that's good, but now we have to deal with that. I'm over here like, please just let me work from home forever. So I had so many orders, and then of course everything that could go wrong did go wrong. So I don't have, anywhere near the amount of equipment that I probably should, but I may do, right? So I need to purchase things like more mixing bowls, more um, cookie sheets, 
the right size of cake pan because I've decided that I really, really, really like doing six inch cakes and mine are nine inch pans. So I've been pouring my cake batter out on my round cakes into this guy, put my cake grease or whatever we want to call it, cake release stuff that I make, and then parchment paper, pour it out and then take a, well, it's just like a six inch circle template that I printed out from the computer and laminated and I just cut that out. So I have lots of cake scrap, like here's a bowl of cake scrap from the last six inch I did, bright blue, but I'll save all that stuff in the freezer and I'll make some cake pops out of it. But anyway, it's things like that. So then I have this mixer that I'd had for the last, I bought it in 2009, I believe. In fact, I know that I bought it in 2009 and it, um, I have flour in a big five gallon bucket. I'm trying to open the bucket and talk to you. It lasted me through all kinds of abuse. And in fact, I bought that mixer because that year I made Christmas goodies for everybody for Christmas. And that's why I bought that mixer. So it went through a lot of abuse. And then it went through even more just being my only mixer because I don't have a stand mixer, which is something for the wish list for the bakery, but it is what it is. So... I forgot, we're gonna put some food color in this cake. <clears throat> anyway, so 10, $15 at the most I spent on that thing and it lasted me that long. And then it died on me. It slipped a gear. Well, it turns out those kind of cheap hand mixers just have nylon gears. So, shoot. When it slips the gear, basically you're, you're SOL. So, okay, fine. So my wonderful mother had given me a gift card for Amazon that I hadn't spent everything on um, for my birthday. And I was like, ooh, I found like a really cool one that had like a wire, like a whisk, because mine literally just had beaters. And I was like, that would be great because I'm doing a lot of meringuing. And of course I tested that when it came in with the whisk and it didn't make meringue. So it turns out when you want a meringue, you still just want beaters. <laughs> so anyway, so I have a huge order due the weekend before Christmas for something separate. And uh, I'm up at night finishing that order up. And guess what? I had only used it three, maybe I had used it four times, but I'm pretty sure I only used it three times. And it slipped a gear and crapped out on me. So I, uh, I have to actually check my Amazon and see if they're gonna give me my money back or not. Cause I asked them to, but it, oh, I was so mad. I had to go in the middle of the night, thank goodness my mom wakes up for, it's not good why she wakes up, because she just it wakes up if she's sick, but she was awake, and she just had, said, come get my KitchenAid, and I borrowed the KitchenAid until I was done, so then I was in the um, grocery shopping town doing some Christmas shopping, and uh, bought myself another hand mixer, but I spent like $30 on this one which still isn't like a KitchenAid, but it is my own mixer. So, the end. I need to get a stand mixer at some point. I really want a KitchenAid. I kind of feel spoiled because I used hers for so long and it was like so perfect, but it is what it is. So, that happened. Those mixers kept dying on me. And then in the midst of all of it, the week of Christmas, my mom started getting kind of sickly. Like she just was under the weather. And so I was like, well, we already talked about how I like to just add more and more to my plate. So I was just like, um, you know, I'll do your baking for you if you want with the intention of baking her rolls when I baked my rolls, baking her pumpkin pie when I made mine, et cetera, et cetera. And it didn't work out that way because just everything that could go wrong was. So then on Christmas day, I'm like last minuteing it, trying to fill my sister's order that I hadn't made until she was on her way down because I wanted it to be fresh. And that stuff for my mom, oven's preheated. And all that stuff was going wrong and the rolls I made were like perfect and I let them cool, flipped them out, dough in the middle, deflated, horrible. It was like the, like, I was super strong about my kitchen being a disaster, my house being a mess, being stressed about orders and not sleeping, all that. I was super strong about it till that happened and then I broke down. But, you know, it's really silly that I did because everything's fine now, it worked out.
but I like things to be perfect. So anyway, what I'm getting at is I've been very busy and I have not had the forethought to pick up the camera because I'm gonna tell you a secret. Confessions with Say How. I like to spend most of my time not wearing a bra if I can. And I have to put a bra on to film for you guys because I'm not gonna film without one of these on. And that hurts my back. <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing to do that. So that's honestly the honest truth as to a probably 40% of why I didn't film. Goodbye. Um, and like I said, my good internet was my work internet and it's down. So who knows? So there we go, catch up time. Now, I want to talk to you about the future. Maybe this is me being overly ambitious, but it is New Year's time. You see my nails? I might have shown you, but do you see them? New Year's nails. Um, I'm wanting to talk about New Year's resolutions and everybody thinks it's silly, but I think there's a lot to be said about New Year's resolutions. So even if you don't make it all the way through or as far through as you thought you were going to, you should still try if you want to better yourself. And again, Level Up Say Ho is about uh, bettering yourself. So um, I didn't make it very far through December on keto because I spent a lot of the days licking beaters before they went <laughs> to the sink. I promise you I was clean to my customers, but you know, it's kind of hard to not like be like, oh, let's test, taste test that icing that we're coming up with or whatever. And then it's so good that you want to eat like all the extra fudge. <laughs> anyway. So Christmas is over and keto is starting. I started it today, um, except for, I guess I didn't. I started it at lunchtime today because uh, earlier today when I was at my parents' house, I did snack on a little piece of a treat that I brought them because sometimes it's hard for me to remember that I have a plan. So anyway, we started keto over. So I'm not gonna set a poundage weight loss thing. I want to lose weight, get my diet under control, and see where we go from there. I need to start working out every single day. So it either has to be at least on my um, elliptical or also some weights in there somehow. Everybody says they're going to go back to the gym in January. I don't like going to the gym in January. I like to wait for all the resolutioners, which I'm technically one of right now, to be done and then go back to the gym. We'll see what happens. Oh, my restaurant job I'm done with, except for on Fridays only, so that's good. I have a resolution to tell my dude about the YouTube channel by the end of January. I don't necessarily want him to watch it, but I want him to know. My sister gave me a ring light for Christmas, and I should be using that, but you're on the back of my stove right now. Um, so that's cool, but anyway. I'm talking instead of paying attention to my recipe. So anyway, that's very exciting. But the other thing I want to do, and here's the overly ambitious thing is, I've been watching this girl that I really like on YouTube, and she did her first year, just bear with me, just, it'll be okay. What she did was, I promise it'll be okay whether we make it through or not. She posted one, at least one video, every single day for that year. And then she went to once a week. But um, you guys, I wanna try it. Uh, now that I kind of have like a flow in my head for how things are supposed to work out or are going to work out, I feel a little more confident that I could do that. And if I can't, please don't at me, but pause. But I want to try, okay? So um, I think we're going to take the same format as what we were doing for Vlogmas where they may, may not be full length 25, 30 minute videos, which is probably okay, right? I'm probably the only one who can handle hanging out with myself for that long. The thing is, I'm not going to niche down. Like everybody says niche down. I'm not going to just talk about my chickens or just talk about baking or just talk about weight loss or whatever because that's not my life. So we're just going to talk about what we're talking about. So I'm sure I'll have other New Year's resolutions. I always say I'll put a blog post. I haven't done that in a, a long time. <laughs> so, but I usually do a New Year's blog post. 
no matter what. So I'll give it some thought and I will put some true resolutions down besides what I talked to you about and put them on the blog post. Tell me down below what you want to do um, with your New Year's resolutions. They don't have to be specific. It doesn't have to be like uh, paint my nails red every Friday afternoon or like lose 37 pounds or whatever. It can just be like get my diet under control and what does that look like, etc. It can be anything. It can be like start journaling every day. It could be like getting out of bed before a certain time, whatever. So that's all I have to say. I'm going to get these cakes finished and in the oven and in the freezer and then um, finish up some work stuff that I have and watch some more of The Witcher, even though I've already finished it, but we had to start it over. And yeah, so sorry I've been gone. Glad to be back. We'll try again on the first of the year and see if I can get you a video every day. The biggest holdup I would think before videos would be um, the internet uploading for me. So we'll see what happens there. Um, so yeah, share, like, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, let's go strong into 2022 and I will see you on January 1st. I wonder why they weren't laid when that's small.